welfare and protection. So if you've got no plans for today, maybe head down to uh, Pathiakos Animal Rescue Cyprus, have a look at the horses there, some beautiful horses down there, and lots of... Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. That was, of course, Matthew Edmondson on Rock FM. That's one of the local radio stations in downtown Paphos. If you want to get all the insights and all the latest news and gossip, perhaps that could be the radio station for you, or perhaps stay tuned to Mr. Paul as he takes you on his travels driving around Paphos. And of course, if there's somewhere that you'd like me to go, you drop in the comments, and you never know, that video may be coming very, very soon, especially for you. Now, that was the Limassol roundabout. If you'd have taken a left and gone up the highway, you'd have headed out to Limassol. You can keep going for Larnaca, keep going for Nicosia, but we're not gonna go there, no, no. We're gonna head down towards downtown Cato Paphos. Of course, that is downtown paradise. And along the way, we're gonna try and avoid some of the potholes, because I tell you what, if you want some potholes, Paphos is the place for you. Anyway, there's the rant over, Lord Mark of the Peacocks. Big, big shout out to yourself and of course to your wife, Lady Cheryl, and of course those two princesses, Princess Amelia and Princess Abigail. Thanks for continuing to watch us and thanks for being one of our superstar members on the Buy Me A Coffee platform. Very, very much appreciated indeed. Now, what's coming up on the left-hand side? We've got McDonald's. So if you want a Big Mac or perhaps a veggie burger, that could be the place that's waiting just for you. Just over there is the brand new Neon Malapathos. Well, it's not brand new. It opened up originally as the Malapathos in 2008. Unfortunately, it closed down in 2011, 2012. But uh, last year it reopened and now it's called the Neon Mal of Paphos. And I believe it's got one of the greatest coffee shops in the world. And if you're new to the channel, you won't know, but it's going to treble in size over the next two years. They're building new shops and new offices to the back. And of course, they're going to put a rooftop restaurant as well. And one of these days, we'll take you on a little adventure into the Neon Mal of Paphos. We're now heading down towards the former area known as Debenhams Roundabout. That's because there was a Debenhams there a while back. But of course, again, Debenhams got itself into trouble and closed down, and now it's an empty building. But until something else opens there, of course, we will refer to it as the Debenhams Roundabout. And I tell you what, the sky, you may have noticed, is looking very, very clear and very, very blue indeed. I promise you, when I looked out the bedroom window this morning, the sea was looking very, very blue indeed. Mr. Paul, you've guessed it, he got dressed head to toe in blue, so that must mean one thing. All that is missing is you. So come on, get yourself on that big bird, or perhaps on that canoe, and start paddling like crazy. Because Path or Cyprus, Marika and me, you've guessed it, we're waiting, especially for you. And there's a lot of superstars in town as we speak. Our day man, she's arrived, of course. Lord Andy of Shropshire, he's arrived and he's brought with him his beauty. And of course, that's our girl, Lady Ness. And there's more and more people coming to Pathos as we speak. Sir David of the Potter, he's in town. And of course, he's brought his blonde beauty. And of course, that's Lady Angie. And I had the great pleasure to go and have a chat with them in downtown Payer only an hour ago or so ago. And of course, they're having a spectacularity of a time indeed. Only on the island of love for a week. But one thing's for sure, the sun is shining, especially for them. And of course, all you guys that perhaps are booked into a hotel or an apartment clocks in and around Paphos. A lot of traffic around today. I don't understand why, and there's a lot of people doing some silly maneuvers and people doing some silly things. Anyway, there you go. There's another rant over as I take you on my travels in and around Paphos. And the temperature, if you're curious to know, is 26 degrees. We're in the middle of May and uh, it's not even lunchtime yet, so that's not bad, is it? So if you're looking for a great place to come, whether it be for a week, a fortnight, or perhaps even the rest of your life, get yourself on that tinternet and book yourself a holiday in downtown Paphos, because Paphos really is a spectacularity of a place indeed. Yes, Sir Jim, there's that word again. Cuddle up to Lady Amanda, because very, very soon indeed you will be jetting into Paphos and hopefully dancing the Chuchuchka down the downtown Cato Paphos promenade and into the harbour area. Now, Lady
Lady Andrea, are you going to keep these lights on green just long enough for Mr. Paul to get through? Yes, that's our girl in downtown Norwich. Thank you very, very much indeed. Because as we now know, those are traffic camera controlled traffic lights. So if you're a naughty boy or a naughty girl, you're going to get an infringement on your credit card. And you wouldn't want to do that. Oh no, what a complete and utter waste of money. Now, if you like what you see, hit the like, click that subscribe. Please don't forget to keep coming back as I take you on my travels in and around Paphos. And of course, if you'd like to keep the channel afloat, see there's a link coming soon, always to do with money, as you understand. Why not gift us a virtual coffee or two? How do you do that? Well, it's very, very simple indeed. All you've got to do is Google these magic words. Buy me a coffee, Marika and me, up will come our landing page. And of course, you can choose to read that little bit more about us. And of course, if you want, you can go and read a comment or two. And there's plenty of them there for you to read. And then, of course, you could gift us that coffee or two or three or four or five, like our superstar in downtown Krakow in Poland, the greatest lawyer in the world. Of course, that's our girl. And they're our super superstar. And of course, if you are in downtown Wiltshire, well, if your name is Sir Harold, I think he's a lord now, to be honest. We're going to make him a lord. Lord Harold, and of course, his girl, Lady Pat, we thank you very, very much indeed for hitting the jackpot. Ten coffees on the Buy Me a Coffee platform. Thank you, thank you very, very much indeed. Of course, we'll be looking forward to seeing you in December when you return to the island of love. Now, this is downtown Cato Pathos. What's coming up? There's the Veronica Hotel. Lots of people have booked in there over the years. I remember Sir Lee Jackson had a great time there, and he's coming back to Paphos very, very soon indeed. I also remember those naughty boys. They're called a couple of pains from downtown in Damp Cardiff. That's Baron Jeremy and, of course, Baron Simon. And they said they heard some weird noises. Anyway, let's keep going. There's the Olympic Lagoon Hotel right in front of us. And now this is the main ascent into downtown Kedipapos and, of course, the promenade and the harbour area. And I'm going to name one or two of the hotels along the way. Here's the Ampura Resort on the left-hand side, another beachside location, and all the rooms have got looks out into the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. What's coming up next? Well, the Anesthesia Beach Bar is going to come up on the left-hand side. If you want to get a great view and a drink and a bite to eat, and that could be the place waiting just for you. Next door to that is the Amabi. Ah, yes, the Amabi luxury five-star hotel. Who's staying there? Let me think. Well, there's a girl who's coming to Paphos to celebrate her birthday, and of course that's our Lady Sue. And we'd like to say happy, happy birthday, especially to you. And of course. Your partner in your crimes, Sir Dave. What's coming up next? This is the Alexander the Great Hotel. It doesn't need much of an introduction because, of course, it is possibly the greatest hotel in the world, certainly in downtown Kedipapos. And I'll bet you Dame Anne is either sitting on her top floor balcony looking out into the blueness of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea or sitting on her allocated sun lounger lapping up those rays. She knows that very, very soon indeed, she's going to be in the Paphos Harbour, being entertained by Mr. Paul and, of course, the most beautiful woman in the world, our Marika, Miss Archin Graciliana La Labeouf. And if you're new to the channel and you're wondering what does Archin Graciliana La Labeouf mean, well, it's Russian for the words very beautiful love. There you go. Slowly but surely, we are an educational channel. We'll even educate you with the odd language or two, but not Spanish, because if you want to learn Spanish, you need to go and learn of the greatest Spanish teacher in the world. And of course, that's our girl, Lady Andrea, in downtown London. And she'll be sitting there now. What's going on here? Ah, dropping someone off to go and get a coffee in possibly one of the greatest coffee shops in the world, Costa Coffee. Anyway. I was rudely interrupted and I was about to mention our great friend 
her husband and partner in her crimes and of course that is Lord Lorenzo and a big shout out to your daughter who doesn't have to cook or clean anymore because of course mummy's home big shout out to Princess Sarah We're looking forward to seeing you guys again very very soon indeed there is what it's all about the downtown Kedipathos promenade and it's looking pretty busy deliveries everywhere if you fancy a pint of Keo well there's a barrel of it waiting especially for you perhaps waiting for Sir Daniel he's getting ready to come back to Paphos his girl Lady Sherry I bet she's getting ready yeah and of course there are some other guys coming to Paphos as well I like to watch now and again especially when Mr Paul goes for a little drive he's of Italian descent and of course that's our Lord Ronaldo and of course he's got a French beauty in his life and that's Lady Sylvie so I will be very very soon indeed reading my new book Annoying the French for a thousand years yes gifted to us by Lord Paul and of course his girl Lady Marilyn all the way from downtown in Canarvon and of course better Sequoid in downtown North Wales we're coming to the end of this little episode and of course don't forget if you do like it hit that like click that subscribe don't forget if you want me to go somewhere drop it in the comments don't forget to gift us that coffee or two and perhaps even join us as a superstar member via the buy me a coffee platform starting off at only 10 euros a month that's all it costs you to get a little bit of brightness in your life as lady whitney and of course sir jace in downtown south wales no and of course princess kelly in downtown south wales and of course the big man himself that's our lord lee his girl lady vicky and they got a couple of princesses as well big big shout out and a cali mera too princess kelly and of course princess layla looking forward to seeing you very very soon indeed let's circumnavigate the rear end of the Paphos harbour that's it on the left hand side and take you and finish with a great great view out across the blue 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 mediterranean sea looking straight over the brand new sunset viewing point and of course the Paphos castle will be there waiting especially for you see delivery vans galore they're getting ready for a very very busy night in the Paphos Harbour. That's where we're going to be most evenings from around about six o'clock. If you see us, come over and say a big, big hello. If you fancy grabbing a seat, grab a seat, take a pew, come and sit and chew the fat with Mr. Paul and Miss Archin for a CBR in the booth. Thanks for watching, and of course, I will look forward to seeing you again very, very soon indeed. Here it comes, that view of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. I tell you what, it really is a spectacularity of a view indeed. Feast your eyes and digest. Look at that. Doesn't get much better. People enjoying the sunshine, enjoying the views and enjoying the spectacularity of downtown Ketopathos. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon indeed.